guys, John Monk from Go419 here, and I'm joined with Mary here at Buff City Soap. And uh, she's gonna show me the process of making soap from scratch, and it's something you can actually come in and do yourself. Yeah. Well, when we're making soap, we got three main ingredients. We have our soap oil, which is like, that's the oil that makes our soap like moisturizing. Okay. And then we have the lye, which um, institutes like a chemical reaction to like help the soap harden. And then we have our scent oil, which makes it smell good. Okay, well, what, do we know what scent those, we, those are? Today we are doing magnolia. Ooh, I don't think I've ever smelled magnolia. Yeah. So I'm very interested. All right, so, so right off the bat, is this the... And this is our coloring. Our coloring. We use a mica powder to color up pretty much all of our products here. The first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of color to my buckets. The soap is uh, blue and white, so I'm gonna do two tablespoons of blue in one bucket. Mm -hmm. and then two tablespoons of white in the other bucket. And that's just a standard pigment or? Yeah, it is a powdered form of mica. Okay. And then we use these little immersion blenders to like mix our things just because it uh, gives us a lot of control. It helps us mix our colors. <laughs> How many times do you do this a day? Oh, well, it, dep it depends on the day and kind of what our store needs are, mm -hmm. but I'd say per day we have at least a 20 loaf um, goal. Okay. And these things are one loaf. One loaf. All right. All right, we're all colored up. Yeah, and once we get our colors in, the next thing we do is we mix in our lye. And now when we're mixing our lye in, that is when, if you're, when you're coming in store and you hear like the buzzing sound in the background, it's probably because we're mixing lye because we have to mix it for at least 30 seconds okay. to make sure we get it all in correctly. Good. Then after we lye our soaps, our last steps are just we add our scent oil in and then we do our pouring. And our scent oil is, that's what um, initiates the hardening process in our soap. So once we put this in is when it starts to like get tough. That's, that's go time, that's when you Yeah, you gotta, you gotta it's go time. <laughs> So it's one layer of white, like one layer of blue, and then we'll top it off with the white on top? Yeah, the white is gonna kind of, uh, it's gonna go into the blue and create kind of like a swirl inside. And then once it's hardened, it's called a loaf, is the, is the, is the term, right? Yes. So how many bars per loaf do you guys get to cut out of this? Between a 13 and 14. Okay. And then the last little bit we do once we have all of our soap in the mold is we add these fun little toppers on. Usually we have metallic colors, some glitter, pretty much the entire rainbow. And that creates the little design that you see on the top of our soaps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, do you want to take over and do uh, the last one? I'll give it a go. How deep, how deep in do I go? Um, no more than like a half inch, I'd say. If you go in too deep, it kind of, it can disrupt your swirl on the inside. Gotcha. And then one big long. Yep, you can do whatever you want. Up the middle. Whoop. 
Oh yeah, that looks good. Hey, all right. And that is how we make soap here at Buff City Soap. Excellent. All right, if you guys want to pick up some Buff City Soap yourself, you can visit their website online or visit their shop here in Holland, and you can even come in and make your own if they don't necessarily have something particularly that you want to see. So thank you, Mary, for yeah, having thank me. Yeah, you. And, uh, and, and see you guys next time on Go419.